Oh, of course, all my audio settings are reset now. Hold on, let's set the video here first. Oh, I didn't even need to. It did it automatically. Nice. That is so loud. Holy crap. All right. Let's turn it to there. All right, let's see what happens with a kind of old version. Please just be loading. Okay, good. Okay, let's see. Come on, please. There's a little bit of lag, but if I can actually play it, that would be great. Let's see. Can I get through this without it crashing? Like, it's not even the chapter that's hard at this point. Like, I know how to do it. I just gotta not have the software here die on me. Here, and then poke. And then we do this. And then we do this. Then we get our two level ups. Yeah. Level up. Does this version of Citra even have save states? It does right. not. Yeah. I remember before Citra had save states. I remember not having him. And this is this is those days. Yeah, let's see what my computer thinks of an old version here. Alright. Yeah, this seems like a good position here then. Um if Arthur can land that, nice. Okay, and then we chill there. Elise is gonna go ahead and give us some heals. I'm gonna chill here, I think. And then, yeah, so movement is the same there. I might just make that wall that I did here before. Yeah. Dang, man. Dang, damn it. Yeah. I kind of want to pair up, actually, is what I'm thinking here. And we'll deal with that guy here shortly. Okay, I don't need a heal yet. Silas will be back up to be able to run to the bottom side there and tack on some extra damage. I think, in case he's needed for that. Okay. That tile's accessible, so yeah, I am gonna need to move one more down here. At least he's gonna have to go ahead and get that heal. Yeah, so maybe so I should just pair up there. This might be a good opportunity for Arthur to get some experience here. There we go. And he doesn't have to worry about taking damage because the shield thing, Rebob, is to full. We are going to chill out here. Silas, he's gonna chill out. Okay. And then we take out you. Yeah. Then Elise stays here for some support. Here, and then we're a little bit safer in the forest, so we may as well get our enemy phase damage this way. So let's see. Neat. But yeah, they continue to attack on damage with... Don't crash on me, please. Like, if this does not fix it, then I'm gonna have to call the stream and figure it out for some future time, you know. But, you know, hopefully this is finally the solution. Does mean I would have to play Fire Emblem Fates completely as intended, like no save states or anything. Um, I might be able to figure it out later on. Because I know I've had it working before, you know. I know I have. I'm sure Effie will be fine with uh, that, right? Guess we'll see. Guess we'll see. Not like I can use the laws of time right now. But yeah, I know I had access to that in my Fates playthrough with Birthright. I know I used it at the end of my Awakening playthrough with Apotheosis that one time because of RNG. Whoa! All right, I called it kind of close. Maybe I should have calculated it out before I got too ahead of myself there because yikes. Okay. So how about this, then? Unfortunate, but it's okay. 
We have the fully charged shield, so we'll be A-OK -okay for one more round there. And then we should be able to get the player phase kill. But might just heal there with a least to be safe, just in case there's any chance of missing. You know. So we might just do. Okay. Give me that level up. Thank you. This is my Meh. Oh, Dragon Fang. Nice. I guess because, yeah, I'm level 10 there because I leveled up a whole bunch in like the first five chapters. Nice. Oh, you have Poison Fang rather than the Beastly Fang, even though it's basically the same. Um, 83, huh? But you're at full health. So here. So even if you miss, it's not the end of the world, but it is sucky. It's still unfortunate, though. Yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter who I attack there. Okay. I haven't had it crash yet. Nice. Up at level one up. There we go. Arthur got the kill. On the boss. Pretty sweet. Watch his luck go up. His luck is at one. Never fear. Never fear. The power of justice flows within me. Okay. Nice dragon fang. Okay. Just... Defeat these two now. Just don't crash on me here. Is all I need to happen. Level eight, level six. Level six, maybe Silas should get the last kill. Maybe, maybe. I can get some sword experience here instead. Yeah, it'll lag the first time that it goes into a battle. Oh my goodness, I, I saw it go to zero speed and zero FPS and I actually thought it crashed for a hot second. That went well. But yeah, I believe that that's normal for like once per battle as it just like loads that 3D map. I'm fairly certain. Okay, poke him. Okay, well, it's lagging some more. <laughs> I assume it goes away as the battle goes on. This is the older version of Citra. Okay, just don't die on me now. All right. <sighs> it appears all the faceless have finally been dispatched. Good work. Woo! Yay, we did it! Go team! We made it. I can't believe we actually won. Amazing. Now to make our way through this forest and head to the Ice Tribe Village. Yes. It's such a dark forest though. I hope we don't lose our way. It'll be fine. Oh dear, that's not possible. I can guide us to the village from here. It's where I was born after all. I could get us there with my eyes closed. I'll keep them open though, otherwise I'll surely trip. I can always count on you. Felicia, you never cease to amaze me. Whenever you're ready, lead the way. Yes. Okay, everyone stay close. <sighs> Drat. So, our uh, false prince made it through that battle in one piece. Well, after a lot of, you know, erase timelines. And after I went through all the trouble of summoning a faceless army. This is Prince Xander's fault, the traitor. Though King Garen is not without blame. I don't see why he would allow that child to live after being tainted by the Hoshidans. It is truly beyond my understanding. Luckily, he has me to set things right. That's right, Harmonia. Enjoy this brief respite. <laughs> Hell is waiting for you as soon as you leave this forest. Prepare to suffer and die. Let me save. Yes. Yes. All right, we made it through the chapter. I'm saved. It is a lot brighter here now. I must say. Oh my goodness, there's definitely a little bit of lag. Get all this fruit. Munch. Whoa, it's so sweet. Hi. Ouch. I just stubbed my little toe of justice on something. What is this thing? Moonlight? The heck? There's just 20% of Wielder's maximum HP after combat here she initiated. Interesting. Yeah, I have a few support conversations around here. Let's feed Lilith more berries for now. Here you go. Eat them up. Lots of berries to become a healthy fish dragon. There you go. But yeah, so in uh, Birthright, you develop your healing skills. <laughs> Conquest, you develop your attacking skills here. Breath proficiency. And I'm pretty sure you get both in Revelations. All right. Let's see here. I'll probably invite an ally after we uh, 
after we chat to a few people here. Yeah, because we have the next level of support conversations available. Ouch, that really stings. Hey, Felicia, I just saw a big pile of broken dishes. Did you? Oh, wow, that's a big cut on your forehead. Are you all right? Here, let me look. Hmm, we should put some ointment on this. I'm so useless, I can't even carry a few stupid dishes around. I wish I could serve you like a proper maid, or at least stop breaking things. Then you wouldn't have to look after me all the time. Oh, come on, Felicia. We're practically family, and family helps each other out. Besides, it's the least I could do for someone who saved my life. I saved your life? Don't you remember? It was when I had that terrible fever years ago. I just kept getting sicker and sicker. Oh, yes, I do remember. It was around the same time Flora and I started serving as your maids, correct? But even then, I was a mess. I couldn't care for you properly at all. I had no idea what to do when you fell ill. Well, you didn't know the normal ways to treat an illness, that's true. But that didn't matter. You kept my fever down for days using your ice powers. Drawing the heat out of me and into yourself. They said it was extremely dangerous. You could have died. It was the only thing I could think to do at the time. Did you even stop to consider what might have happened to you? I'm grateful, of course, but I don't want you sacrificing yourself for my sake, okay? I want you to look out for yourself, too. Lord Harmonia, you don't understand. I was looking out for myself. What do you mean? <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Felicia? Wait! Yeah, and I think that takes a very different turn if you uh, do S support. Ha! Yeah! Um, Elise? Why are you throwing punches in the middle of the field? Well, Harmonia! I'm not doing anything. Really, not a thing. Or, I mean, I was just here to pick flowers. Yeah, a pretty girl picking pretty flowers. Oh, I see. Are you sure about that? But of course, I wanted to make you a lovely bouquet. I'm just too sweet. Okay, then. It just seemed an awful lot like you were practicing your punches. Fine, you caught me. You're just too clever for my devious deceptions. The truth is, really, I've been feeling like kind of a burden to everyone. I was hoping if I trained secretly, I could become as strong as you are one day. At least, please don't say that. I promise, no one thinks of you as a burden. You're sweet to say that, Harmonia. I love that you're always looking out for me. But that's exactly why I need to train. That way I can look out for myself instead. This clearly means a whole lot to you. Oh, it means everything to me. Everything. See? Watch this. Kapow! My killer left hook. Kaboom! My right fist of fury. Kapow! Kaboom! Yeah! Oh, wow, I'm impressed by your exuberance. Well then, if it means that much to you, I'd be happy to help you out. After all, training is twice as effective with two minds at work. You mean it, Harmonia? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best. I love you the most. <laughs> You're very welcome. Now then, let's start with some cardio. Ready? Go! <laughs> Yay! Here I go! I should check if, like, it's been a while since I've checked my pairings and stuff. I've been, like, kind of glancing over my old spreadsheets for conquests and stuff like that lately, but I should double check them here and figure out, like, is there anyone that I currently have that I can pair off? Probably not, but, like, if I have anything that I can start working towards, then, you know, I should be aware of it. I am coming, Lady Elise! Your loyal Arthur rides to the rescue. Stay your fearful heart. Uh, <laughs> a thousand apologies, my lady. Uh, I did not mean to keep you waiting. To think of you had been accosted by thugs and it took me so long to reach you. Oh no, don't worry, Arthur. It's nothing like that. I just had a question I wanted to ask you. Ah, well, I am a man of little learning, but if I can help, please ask away. You're a man of justice, right, Arthur? So I was wondering, is there anything you wouldn't do to help someone in trouble? No, I would stop at nothing to save even a single person from harm, my lady. If a milk lady could lost a child, I'd scour the entire globe for that little babe. If an old man could no longer walk, I myself would serve as his legs as long as need be. Wow, so cool. If someone sobbed a single sob, I would tickle them until they smiled. If I saw a fight, I would break it up but not before I brought their hands together. This time in the loving clasp of friendship, rather than a deadly grapple of war. Uh, I suppose I need to go on, you get the idea. I am who I've always been, destroyer of evil, champion of the weak. I am Arthur, the hero of justice. 
Oh, wow, you sound so gallant. Is there anything you can't do? Not a thing in the world, my lady. Hi, Jesse. Jeez, Arthur, you're amazing. You're not just a hero. You're like an an ultra hero. Oh, oh you flatter me too much, my liege. Now, why did you ask me all this? Is there something that ails you? If anything troubles you, I vow right now to vanquish it for you. Right in its evil face. Really? Well, Arthur, actually, I... I, am. Um, never mind. What? Lady Elise, I beg of you. If there is anything at all, you must tell me. I have sworn to aid you in all things. You know this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry. Pretend you didn't hear anything. There are some things even an ultra hero of justice stuff can't do. So, um, see ya. By my leather loin protector, that girl can be a mystery sometimes. I might have fixed the issue for now. I'm running an old version of Citra that doesn't even have save states. And it doesn't look like it's cropped properly on my layout. It looks like there's a single pixel line on the top screen here of showing the bottom screen and like the black void because it's not quite the same cropping, I guess. Weird. But this is still set up properly for my uh, like normal layout here. I mean, I could just set this up in such a way. Hold on. Let me just copy, paste. Uh, if I paste a reference and I move it around, this isn't going to be affecting the other one, is it? Yeah, no. Because, yeah, I might just do this and then the uh, other one. Just because I don't want to tinker around with my current ones and then, you know, screw up my whole layout in case I do get things working again on, like, the actual updated Citra. All right, then I can disable those layouts. And then I'll move these down and then I'll just adjust these a little bit right now. Is what I'll do. And to not hurt my neck, I'll move it over to the screen and then I can see it a little bit easier. So let's see here. So this top screen, I need to crop it from the bottom a little bit more. So one, two pixels. Is that good? That looks pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, just two more pixels up like that. Um, and then this one, the bottom screen should probably be cropped from the top a little bit as well. So one, two, of course, that pulls it up. So I need to move it down into the corner again from there. But then that should be good again. Is the face title slowly like into the layout area with this setup? Fate's Conquest feels like it's not quite as moved down. I'm trying it like this. Like, things shifted slightly. Weird. But if it's playable for now, then hey. <laughs> it's so weird that they decide one of the party members in this game should be a 50 Superman XP. I love Arthur. Arthur's like one of my favorite characters in this video game. And, you know, so we didn't get him in Birthright. But, uh, greetings, Zephy! Can you spare a moment to discuss something of dire importance? Arthur, what's going on? Is Lady Elise okay? Ha ha! Uh, yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you. But what I may, s what I say next may shock and disturb you to your very core. I should also check, like, this work fine? Yeah, this looks fine. Just double checking. <laughs> ah. Well, what are you waiting for? Effie, I believe we need to have a chat. We are having a chat right now. Now, will you hurry up and get to the point? Certainly, Effie. I believe that I am falling behind in my Elise guarding duties. I see your dedication to her in every aspect of your life, and I am envious. Please, I must know your secret. There is no secret, but what you said about my dedication is accurate. I'm more than just her retainer. I'm her best friend. Everything I do is for her. But that doesn't mean you should feel bad. You're her hero, you know? It warms my ears to hear such praise, but I fear it is not enough. Our battles grow fiercer by the day. I must know the secrets of your strength. Oh, well, my strength comes from my training. You're welcome to join me for a workout or a sparring session anytime. Fantastic. I look forward to battling to the death. What? Of my energy. To the death of my energy. Is that not a common expression? Oh, my mistake. Ah, oh, man. Arthur feels like a Disgaea character, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Private quarters. Home sweet home. Uh, I don't have anyone with extra affection points right now. Um, I'm inviting Arthur. Need something? 
I am ready to administer justice, my lord. Oh, I see. You are the smoothie recipe. <laughs> it is a great Whoa. Honor to spend a little bit of, bit of lag there. Of we should form our own league. The audio got kind of weird there. Guess that's what happens when I'm using an old for a form of Citra here. Do I have any new support there? Not quite. Right. Um, yeah, there's a lottery shop and stuff. Um, I can start getting free stuff from this. I mean, call the Justice League? No, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be a thing there. Um, I don't know. Because I don't need to buy any more stabs yet. I'm sure I will soon enough. You know, welcome to the lottery. Let's try it out. Meantime, I'll update. Uh, I guess I can't update this to the next chapter name before I know what the next chapter name is. I'd be ready to type it in. You know, want a consolation prize? Better luck next time. You got berries. I almost switched to the Game Boy Advance layout for a second there. Of course, I got berries, the thing that I already have a bunch of. I stole four Harmonian! Well, no. I mean, Road Taken's always really chill. This could be chill here. But we continue the Dark Citadel name. Get that going. Paradise Dark could be like a really nice chill thing for in our castle. I do like that one too. I'll probably continue to change it throughout the playthrough. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. That gets me hyped for battle. Let's do this for now. How about? Um, yeah, we should definitely change it there. Um, fine. <laughs> the Dark Citadel. All edgy and stuff. Whoa. For the total edge lords we are. Spell E-L or A-L? I guess, like, Del. I said to Dahl. All right. I do love me some road taken. All right. Yeah. So cold reception is the name of the thing or Bob. So I can update those. All right. Chapter eight. Cold reception. Harmonia merges from the Wait, Did I check to see if there was new? OK, yeah, there's no new supports there. And <laughs> not to be confused with Delta ISP. Yeah. Wouldn't want to be confused with that there. Um, Harmonia merges from the woods of the forlorn near the ice tribe village. However, the freezing winds complicate matters. Is there a single pixel of black bar to the left of the bottom screen that isn't taken off? Whatever. Oh, wait, I can do the first paralogue too. Get yeah, Mozu. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think it might actually be Mozu in time. That's what it might just be. Yeah. So let's see here. Boobity bop is called Tragic Start. So you'll just see me typing it in here on the side for the sake of it appearing on the layout here. Yeah, sure. Paralog one, Tragic Start. Monia receives a report by that a nearby village is, oh yeah. And that just reminded me of another thing. I wanted to see about like pairing kind of stuff. Um, group rush to the village with the hope that they'll be able to save the victims. Hold on. Let me open up my Conquest stream thing where Bob here. Um, so the characters that I have, all right, is there any supports I need to work towards, even just with like A plus stuff? Um, so Silas, nope, neither of his partners yet. Um, let's see here. Felicia, don't have either of her partners yet. Um, when I get Mozu, yeah, I will immediately have one of her partners for like A plus that I want to share there. Um, and then we have... At least Silas Arthur F. Oh, no, I already checked Silas. I was checking my both page first for like ones that are universal. So at least Arthur Effie here. So let's see here. So Arthur in my sheet is where the heck? There he is. Um, oh, he doesn't even need an A plus because like 
we could get all the skills I want on him without it. And there's not much in the way of good A plus partners, I think. My options are Benny, Keaton, and Niles. And Keaton would give him fighter that he already has, so it's pointless. Um, Benny would give him knight, which he already has access to cavalier in his secondary, so he has a skill that I already want on him of Luna. Um, Niles would give him outlaw, I believe. But is there really anything important with outlaw? I mean, I guess I could write down that he may as well do it with Niles just for funsies then. What were Outlaw's skills again here? They uh, had like that Lucky 7, Movement Plus 1, Lock Touch, Rally skill and stuff like that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what about uh, Elise Effie here? So Elise... Okay, she can start building up support with Effie to unlock Knight and then get access to Luna. So I should have those two start building up some support. Um, and then Effie doesn't have either of hers yet. Okay, but Effie and Elise, I should start building up some support so that, uh, you know, Elise can get Luna and stuff. Yeah, same. It's just nice and chill. That's why I was kind of looking forward to this playthrough. Just like some nice chill Fire Emblem times, you know. Love me some Fire Emblem Fates. All right, so I'll start building up bond between those two. That's what I'll do. All right, let's do Paralog 1. Let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. Paralogue 1, tragic start. Let's get Mozu. 